On this investigation board is every secret to how to edit like Ali Abdal. And I'm gonna teach you how you can use them in your own advantage, beginning with Paper Edge. This one is cool and yet very simple to do. In DaVinci Resolve, drag Paper Edge from the Effects tab to your image. You can adjust the edge roughness, contrast and intensity from the Inspection tab. You can also animate the Paper Edge, set a keyframe for Edge Randomize, then move to end of the image and increase the Edge Randomize. We're gonna continue with paper theme because the second secret is the infamous paper transitions. I've downloaded this transition from YouTube and I'm gonna use it in this example. From the effects, drag a fusion comp to the timeline and go to fusion. Get your main image, like this bread, and connect it to the media out. Get the transition and merge it over the image. From the merge node, set the operator to atop. Select the transition node. Press shift and space and add delta cure. Use the pen tool and select the blue color from the transition. Go back to the edit page, right click the fusion comp and click create comp out clip. Go back to the fusion and add delta cure to the image. This time use the pen tool to select the green color. From the delta cure, change the view mode to matte and go to the matte tab. Adjust the threshold slider until the bright bits are fully white and the dark ones fully black. Change the view mode back to final result and drag the output of your media in to the blue arrow of the delta cure. Voila! Remember the papery effects you saw a minute ago? Paper overlay. You wanna download a paper background from YouTube. In DaVinci Resolve, get a fusion comp and go to fusion. Get a background node from the node bar and connect it to the media out. Get your main image, bread, and merge it to the background. Then get the paper background and merge its output to your main image's output, like this. Scale the paper background from the merge node until it covers your main object. Then set the apply mode to multiply. If the overlay is moving too slow to your liking, click the paper background node, press shift and space and get a time speed node. This way you can make it faster and faster and and faster. I wanna remind you that the point is not to make your own creations look like they were done by Ali or someone else. The beauty lies in the originality, so consider these things more as tools, helping you to build your own style. But that's enough, let's keep going. Subtitles. From the effects, drag a fusion comp to the timeline and go to fusion. Get a background node from the node bar and connect it to the media out. Get a new background, merge it to the old background and make it white. Get a rectangle mask from the node bar and connect it to the white background. Shape it like so and bump the corner radius to half. Press shift and space and get a text plus node and merge it to the main pipeline. Type one word, change the color to black and the font if you like. Position the word to the left side of the white box. Copy paste the text node, change the word to another word and position it more right. Repeat the process until you have three to five words in the box. Set the blend to 0.5 from these three merge nodes. Now, set a keyframe for the blend. Move 5 frames forward and set the blend to 1. Now the text has a light up animation. Repeat this to other words and you got Ali Abdal subtitles. And then maybe one of my favorites, magazine letters. You wanna search magazine letters from the internet and download some transparent image. Or you can search the letters one by one, like magazine letter A. Import all the magazine letters to your media pool. Get a fusion composition and go to fusion. Get a background node and connect it to the media out. I'm also adding the bread so the magazine letters will make more sense. Drag every letter you need for composing a word or name and merge each one of them. Scale and sort the letters out from the merge nodes or create a transform nodes so they form a word like bread. Then we're gonna spice them up. Add one transform node to the first letter. Set a angle keyframe at frame 0. Move to frame 10 and set the angle value to 5. Then move to frame 20 and set it to minus 5. Then move to frame 30 and set it to 5. Select the transform node and open the spline. Tick the boxes from the left and hit zoom to fit. Highlight the three of the four points and click this loop icon from the bottom. You can create a transition for all the letters before animating them with the technique I showed you earlier. We solved the case. If you wanna learn more, check this video. See you there.